Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to Classic Cricket Matches. Today I have the highlights uh, from a T20 game between India and Australia which was actually the very first T20 international game played uh, in India. Uh, this game took place uh, in October of 2007 uh, which is part of the Australian tour to India and it took place right after the uh, very first edition of the T20 World Cup where India had won and were the defending champions. So Australia made a few tweaks to their team uh, after the uh, T20 World Cup while India pretty much kept the same uh, squad and uh, Australia won the toss, elected the bat first. And before we begin, I just would like to ask you to please all to press like and subscribe as this would really help this channel uh, and help me bring you more uh, good videos. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoy the highlights. He's dispensed with the second slip immediately. So, took just one delivery to dispense with the second slip. Has he, it's gone through. Got the edge. It's gone between the slip and the keeper. Seva just looking at it and watching it go by. There was a wry smile from Gilchrist. He knew that they just moved the man away, flashing away at it, straight between keeper and first slip. In this format of the game, it's going to go really quickly, especially when uh, Adam Gilchrist is at the crease. He's not going to hold back. It's a shot of ball for him. It is swinging, though, Aaron. There's just a hint of swing there, and that might help the bowlers. That's gone on over the top. So Gilchrist not wasting any time. That is a splendid shot. Just a little bit of room outside the off stump. The length was right. Went over the top. He's not going to hold back Gilly. That's the way he plays. He's always going to give you a chance. But uh, with the bats that they've got today, boy, did I felt them out there. Ricky Ponting's bats, an absolute beauty. That didn't head anywhere near the middle. And it's raced away. Look at the speed as it goes over the boundary. There'll be plenty of those tonight. You can see the man having been uh, moved back now. And fine legs up. You can only have two outside the circle. There's a third man and his uh, man square on the cover boundary. Oh, that is a gift. He just got the fine leg fielder up and he bowled, bowled it short on the leg stump. That's been swatted away for four. So three fours for Gilchrist. Yeah, this is poor bowling, especially after you brought uh, fine leg out. He's just fired it down the leg side. I know it was in the air for a while. So he's fiddling around with the field and the bowler just not reading the captain's mind or vice versa, one of the two, but they haven't got it quite right. Not the start that India wanted. It's bowling! It's really all happening here. Three boundaries and the middle stump is uprooted. What a delivery. What a comeback. Australia 12 for 1. Take a look at that. That's all. Gilchrist gone for 12. It's 12 for 1. Well ball. The ones that swung away, that's the one that just goes straight on with the arm. Gilchrist expecting it to go away. Played outside it. And there she goes. He heard the death rattle just for one run Ponting now he's got the outside edge he's got it on away for four in fact it's the bottom edge too much room provided by RP Singh and he just got it Ponting I think it's hit the bottom of the bat the actual bottom of the bat yes yeah, it really sort of just clipped the bottom he'll take it Ponting is away for that boundary He's gone over the top and that's high and handsome. One bounce out of the ground, so that will give Ponting a lot of relief. Yeah, good shot by Ricky Ponting. He knows uh, the sort of general area where the bowlers have got to pitch it. You can set yourself to go over the top. Just got to make sure it's not swinging. Just the one bounce. Nicely controlled by Ponting. You can see he didn't try and overhit it. Kept the face of the bat on line. It's gone in the air, but it's over the top. That'll be four. 
four more 25 for one Hayden now ready is yet to open his account seven deliveries well he's rectified that stat that's straight past extra cover for four still not completely in control of that one but he did manage to find the gap yeah, just a little bit of width it's not a particularly bad ball would nicely put away by Hayden he would have just be panicking a little bit not having got off the mark tight there oh that has gone many a mile that is on the roof that is a huge hit six to Hayden that's out of there just cannot pitch it too short when the batsmen are really looking for it did he hit this out the middle well I don't reckon it hit absolute middle a shooting star that's gone out of here margin for error is minuscule oh that's a good shot that is out of here another six and that was from the meat of the bat he didn't try and over hit that one it was just the swing he just judged the line perfectly and he had to go over the top and he connected perfectly well this is what happens when you just miss the length by a fraction he's only just missed the length in terms of trying to get it into the block hole and Hayden who was rehearsing this shot uh, much earlier on he was out in the middle rehearsing and he said if it's just on this length and I can get underneath it it's going out the park Dwyer with a width bit of width and Dive is uh, is in from RP Singh but he couldn't control the ball another boundary yeah nightmare welcome to the crease four runs RP Singh couldn't stop that for me, this is an extreme sport this, you've got your snowboarding, you can bungee jump or you can grab the white ball in 2020 and, and back your luck. It's intense, it... With a straight drive, Ricky Ponting will once again earn a four. This is terrific stuff from the Australian captain. Slow to start, but boy, is he turning it on now class shot this Ponting's enjoying himself he talked about it early on during the toss but when you're enjoying your cricket you play your best and you've got to be balanced to be able to hit over the top that way so Patan 12 off four balls what can he do don't drop short thing the fielding coach there geeing up his players down the track he's lifted the ball in the air hasn't middle it but good enough really to miss all the fielders and into the boundary rope Four fours in that over, 58 for one. Oh, Bolland, inside edge, Matthew Hayden is out of here. Australia, two wickets down. Brilliant over by Harbison Singh, only two runs, picks up the big wicket of Matthew Hayden. He's on his way for 17, Australia 60 for two. He's played that one fine. Terrific batting from Ricky Ponting. Silky touch from the Australian captain. Murli Karthik is confused. Quality shot. Just lovely, wasn't it? We, we always talk about the power of these players today. But it's always nice to see a graceful little lap sleep, sweep like that into the gap. Four runs. Her budget off to a very good start. Good crowd in. They may just pull a muscle today because so many boundaries have been hit, fours and sixes, and they've been working over time. Fairly extensive warm-up session, I think. He'll run hard, come back for the second. Easy couple of runs taken by Andrew Simons. Solid hit for two. Yeah, just a not only for the medium paces and the, the paces, it's spin as well. And he's gone big, Simons. Not quite out of the middle of the bat. Skids over the outfield. Four more runs to Andrew Simons. 
Look at Midolfo's inside the ring. Plenty protection protection in the deep on the leg side. Gave the opportunity to Simons to target that area. And pick a delivery. Was in the air for a long time. Got the elevation. Edge score! Just wide of Dhoni. It's gone hard at it yet again. Ricky Ponting will get another boundary. Brings up the 100 for Australia. Half a chance. MS Dhoni, the keeper. Ricky Ponting going for the maximum. It did the flex. Just off the tip of the glove. Good effort from Dhoni. High and to his right. Couldn't quite make the ground. Four more runs to Ponting. He's now on 49. That'll be his 50. And he'll get there with the boundary. The back to back boundaries again. The Australian captain. Bit of chat between Sri Santh and the Aussie skipper Ricky Ponting. Goes to 53 with his 10th four. Salutes the Aussie bench. It's in the air again, but nobody. It's a huge gap. And he's done it yet again. Ricky Ponting is scoring them in boundaries. 11 boundaries out of 16 in this innings to Ricky Ponting. That was the gap. There's no one in that area. And this outfield is very firm as well. Didn't quite get it out of the middle of the bat, Ricky Ponting, and bounces away. <laughs> Loft him over the top. Catch it! Oh, catch it is the call. Can't get there, can't get there. Big mix up, big mix up. Andrew Sands has gone at the no strikers end. He's gone, run out. It's all happening out there. Mass confusion, that's what I'm going to put it down to. Ricky Ponting got a leading edge. And Andrew Simons involved in a horrible mix-up. 110 for three, Australia. Reasonably slow start, Ricky Ponting, but then started to take a few risks hitting over the top and ever since his first three or four boundaries he's looked very comfortable going aerial 76 and he's bowled him he's kept it straight he's kept it full and Irfan Patan is delighted and so is the crowd watch the man to go trying to smack it over mid wicket right through Brad Hodge's defences he went for two, 116 for four it's so very important the ball straight Brad Hodge hasn't been in good form right through the store Harbison again nice and full not giving him any length to get under these Australians misfield that's a shocker to allow two runs there. Sri Sant letting through Australia. Doesn't look like the easiest pitch to actually start on. So big job for Ponting and Clark. Inside edge for four. It is a nightmare for the bowlers. Well, you're not kidding. Any ball that goes to the boundary, they're going to be cheering, especially with India. That, but that is unlucky. Looking to clear the front leg of Michael Clark and uh, had to change his shot. We haven't seen too many clean big hits, Barry, so it says to me that the pitch, you know, isn't a belt. So no avalanche of runs. So plenty of Bollywood stars here enjoying the cricket, getting cheers from the crowd. And there's another crowd favourite, the cap, MS Dhoni. I hope he's concentrating. 
<laughs> if a catch comes and he drops it down, there might be a few boos. And the crowd is chanting. And it's a slog from Ponting. Just gets it over mid-wicket. Will it go all the way? Harbigen. Oh, I think he was touching the rope as he was touching the ball as well. It was a good dive. Won't be surprised if that is called a four. I think you're right. And he was surprised by it. I think Greg Blewett alluded to the fact that it... Yeah, that's four. Absolutely. How hard this outfield is and how the ball just bounces and accelerates away from the fielders. So that's going to be four. More bounce in the outfield than the pitch, Barry. So we slowed this mode, this Harbigen. You'd think he's contacting the fence in the same time that he's holding the ball. So that should be called for good attempt. But the ball is definitely picking up pace when it's bouncing in the outfield. So Ponting retains the strike. Sri Santh again gives Clark length. Oh, misfielding again. Well, won't go all the way for four. Utapa on the fence. It's Robin Utapa who's been great form in the one day series and in the 2020 World Championship. I just wonder if they didn't skid on a little bit. That's uh, the Jew again. And also it's a hard again. Last ball the over. Bowls a good bouncer. Goes over the top of MS Dhoni. It's called a wide. Has to be re -bowled. It's becoming an expensive over. Yeah, what idea. It must have been a marginal one. Really good. Put the effort in there. Swat from Ponting. Nowhere near from Dhoni. Comedy of errors. And that's what you, you would call uh, not very good cricket got a ball an extra ball and that's an excellent ball although Ponting's got it through the gap such as his timing it's gone all the way for four 22 off the over Australia 149 for four a couple of overs can change the whole thing that was one of them 22 off the over boy that turns it around a little bit so Patan with the ball in his hand Clark moves around the crease Hits it through the gap. It's been running quick all night. Oh, that's ordinary stuff. The captain, MS Dunny, he's not going to be happy with that. Nor would I be. Sharma, you put the slide in. You've got to put the slide in. And that's what Patan is so upset about. He's trying to field it with a hand on a, on a bouncy track, not sliding behind it. You can see here, ordinary, very ordinary. Patan again, Ponting unwinds in the air. I'm not sure, as you're saying, Barry, where it is getting quite slippery in the outfield. I think the ball for it. And that's a wicket. Patan picks up the Australian captain. He's pretty happy about it. End of the 19th over. So Ponting on his way. For 76, Australia 158 for 5. The best conditions for the umpires. Good bowling again, nice and full. Good running from Clark. He's going to push for two, get there comfortably. So the fielding's been average at best for the Indians. Australia will put a middle there. Back for two again from the Australian. So it's good running. Still not seeing the big hits. Over to leg side or give himself room outside leg. He gets a good ball. Superb last over from RP Singh. Just the eight off it. Australia end up 166 for five off their 20 so overs. So after losing Gilchrist Still feel very early, it's going to be uh, a very, very competitive a score. Pretty good ankle We're set for a great and, game. Uh, the Indian There's the two left arm quicks. Chipping in with the uh, regular wickets. And, and RP uh, Singh, plenty of dancing, dancing plenty of energy. From, from the Indian from bowling perspective, Sant was very expensive. Uh, with four overs, having yielded 47 runs. RP Singh in front of the end to end up with 166 for five. Testing target for India. Spinners being the most economic.
Kalinikov, everyone, and partnerships uh, as well, really punting and hiding. And the one with Simons as well were very, very fruitful. And that was punting now I really, and really apologize. I only have these first strains. inning highlights of total. this game. And with the ball, uh, I had RPC downloaded the uh, many of these clips a long time ago. The ballers was Harbage and Singh. Four overs, one for 17. Again, please forgive me. I very sorry about that. I'll just give you a quick recap of what happened. Uh, India chased down the total with pretty good ease. Uh, Gautam Gambhir played the starting role, made 60, 63 runs off 52 balls, and India won by 7 wickets in the end. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the highlights. Again, I'm very sorry I was only able to bring you one innings, but uh, I'll try and bring you uh, full game highlights from next time onwards as I upload more and more of these clips. Until next time, please take care and goodbye.